So Freewell just sent me this box of goodies and I'm very excited to check out what's inside. Hey guys, my name is Justin and if you're new here, welcome to the channel. I make videos about photography, filmmaking, travel, and gear. A few days ago, Freewell sent me this small box. Freewell is one of the most famous brands in the world when it comes to camera filters. And so naturally, I was very excited to get this. Now, while they did send this item for free, they gave me total freedom to create a video completely based off of my experience. And they asked me to be 100% honest about it. So no, I did not submit this to them prior to publishing it on my channel for their approval. Nor are they paying me to say anything in particular. As always, all of the things I will be mentioning in this video for this review will be my opinion only. And with that out of the way, let's go check what's inside the box. The first thing you'll see is an instruction manual with a QR code that takes you directly to Freewell's official YouTube video instructions. Inside this envelope, you'll find a couple of Freewell stickers, another card with a QR code containing video topics for some photography basics, a lifetime warranty card, a microfiber cloth, and a filter guide for all the other filters that Freewell offers. Upon removing the pouch, I found a keychain attachment for the pouch itself which can be quite handy to use in the future. I didn't really want to open it at the moment so I just set it aside for now. Now to the more important parts. The Freewell 7-in-1 Magnetic VND filter comes in this beautiful leather pouch. It's got this ribbon tab that allows you to easily pull out the filter pockets. Inside, you'll find the following. A magnetic filter base adapter that allows you to attach the magnetic filters onto your lens. A one-stop ND base filter. A 1-8 strength mist X VND base filter. A VND 2-5 stop slash CPL filter. A VND 6-9 stop slash ND 32 plus CPL filter and this very stylish and sleek metal and glass lens cap which I actually thought was another filter I could use to shoot with my camera. Freewell was also very kind enough to send me an additional rubber back cap. I use two types of filters normally, a CPL filter, this I mostly use for photos to take out glare and reduce reflections. I also use a variable ND filter for almost 80% of the time everywhere I go. This allows me to shoot at wide apertures in bright sunny days. So if I know that I'm going to be taking lots of videos that day, this almost automatically goes onto any of the lens that I use. And here is where the problem begins. If I start out the day taking photos with my CPL filter and I suddenly needed to switch to my variable ND, I would have to unscrew the CPL filter and replace it with the other one. It's not really the end of the world to be honest, but it's also not the most efficient. Most of the times when you're outside and you're taking photos and videos, you don't always have the time to stop and replace your filters. Now here's what happens when I use the Freewell 7-in-1 Magnetic VND. First, I'll screw in the filter base. Next, I'll choose between two glass base or no base at all. If I'm shooting in mid-morning till early afternoon, or if I know that there'll be lots of sunlight, I'll probably go with a VND base. With this base attached, you now have a one-stop ND filter. If I know that there'll be lots of artificial lights or a strong light source in the shot, I'm definitely going with the Glow Mist X VND base. This time with the VND X Mist base attached, it gives you a one-stop ND plus a 1.8 strength mist filter. From here, it's just a matter of picking between the ND 2-5 stop or the ND 6-9 stop depending on how bright it is outside. Things get even more interesting when you want to use the CPL filters. To do that, you'll need to start off without any of the glass base. Then all you need to do is flip the ND2-5 to stop and it becomes a CPL filter. If you flip the ND6-9 to stop, on the other hand, it becomes a ND32 plus CPL filter. There are two important things to check when using these filters. The first one is making sure that the label of the filter that you need is facing outside. So if you need to use the ND2-5 to stop, for example, it has to be 
facing outwards. And if on the other hand, you need the CPL, then you flip it over and make sure that you can read the words CPL on the front of the filter. The next thing you need to check is to make sure that the letter A on the filter and the filter base will line up when you are attaching them. This ensures proper fit and correct hard stops, making sure you don't get any weird shadowing or cross polarization when using the variable ND filters, which is a common problem that you will find in a lot of other VNDs. Now, Freewell sent me this just a few days ago, right before I was leaving for a five-day trip to Innsbruck, and I have just come back from that said trip. So naturally, I brought this with me and used it the entire time. Take note that I was using my Sony a7 III together with the Veltrox 24mm f1.8 fe lens and the VNDX mist base because I've always wanted to shoot and try a mist filter so I used it for the entire trip. So far to me, I have been very impressed with everything that I've seen and it's looking well worth the price tag. If you go on Freewell's website, you'll see that this retails for around $399.99, which sounds like a lot of money. But if you consider that for $400, you're getting the VND magnetic lens cap for $30 and the magnetic base for another $30, you're essentially paying $340 for seven filters at a cost of $49 each. Just something to think about. The filters themselves look and feel expensive. Everything is made from CNC metal and glass and it has a little bit of weight to it so it feels solid and nice to the touch. The glass lens cap is beautiful and it makes the product look even more premium. Having said that, I am actually afraid to use this outside because I might break it, drop it as I always do with my plastic lens caps. The rear cap is simple, it's practical, and it's made of rubber so I don't worry about the rear of my filters getting scratched at all. The leather pouch is beautiful and as I always say in all my other product reviews, I really, really, really love it when a company throws in a free bag or in this case, a stylish leather pouch like this. This actually makes the product look even more stylish and elegant. Lastly, after doing a little bit of research, I found out that these filters were actually waterproof, dustproof, scratch resistant, and oil proof. I will be doing a little bit more traveling in the next few days in the coming weeks, so I'll definitely have lots more chances and opportunities to test this out. So if you have any questions about a particular feature or combination of this filter system, then leave them down in the comment section below and I will do my best to check them out for you. This has been my unboxing and initial review for the Freewell 7-in-1 Magnetic VND Filter. And again, I just want to say thank you to the people at Freewell for sending me this product for free to test and review. My name is Justin and if you like this video, please don't forget to hit that like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. And be sure to watch out for the more in-depth and detailed review of this product soon on this channel. And with that, I guess I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.